Hello everyone. Prisma Access provides a flexible way to effectively secure all SD-WAN sites. One of the first native third-party SD-WAN integrations on Prisma Access is the Cisco Meraki integration. This solution facilitates the adoption of Prisma Access by Cisco Meraki customers. The integration is available for cloud-managed tenants only. The key advantages of this integration is the automatic selection of the compute locations based on the geographical location of the SD-WAN site, configuring the Cisco Meraki dashboard, and configuring Prisma Access with IKE Gateway, IPsec Tunnel, and RN Network. All this alleviates the complexity from a configuration and management standpoint. For the integration to work, the following requirements have to be satisfied. Cisco Meraki physical or virtual MX devices need to be on a minimum firmware version 15.12 in hub or spoke networks. On the Prisma Access side, 2.1.2 or later versions which have the support for aggregate bandwidth model is a requirement. Let's now dive into the demo of the integration. First step is to create an API key on the Meraki dashboard. This can be achieved by logging into the Meraki dashboard and going to your profile and generating an API key. This key would be used in the API handshake between Cisco Meraki and Prisma Access to achieve the complete workflow of the integration. The next step is to configure the Cisco Meraki Integration Settings Dashboard. On the Prisma Access side, go to Settings, Integrations, Navigation. Here you can see the Config Dashboard, which has information about the admin state, discovered, enabled, and configured sites. On clicking the gear icon, the Settings page appears where we need to configure the API key and PSK seed for the integration to work. The PSK seed is used to compute the shared secret on the IKE gateway. The configuration of the local and the remote identifiers for the IPsec tunnel is optional. There is a drop-down menu of the admin states. The enable state is the standard operating mode where the integration would discover or enable or disable connections. Pause state is used to stop all integration runs. It leaves the configurations intact. A simple use case would be to pause the application for updates or manual debugging. Disable state tears down all the configuration created by the integration. This is the default state similar to when the application gets associated with the tenant. Post the configuration settings, click on Check Connectivity to check the validity of the API key and the rest of the configuration. In case the API key is invalid, the config error is out here. Post the validation, the Save option appears and on clicking, the Cisco Meraki integration discovery process is initiated. Using the API key, REST API calls are made from Prisma Access to Cisco Meraki and the Meraki networks eligible for a tunnel formation are rendered onto the discovery page. Once the Cisco Meraki networks have been discovered successfully, the dashboard updates the information on the number of sites discovered. All warnings, information messages such as the discovery start and discovery finish logs can be viewed in the message box. This helps in tracking the status of the integration. The next step is to enable the sites. On clicking the discovered sites, the site name and the devices associated with the sites appear. The enable toggle option is by default disabled for all the discovered sites. The discovery process runs in the background to discover new Cisco Meraki networks every scheduled interval. There is an on-demand discovery button if a customer wants to run discovery before scheduled time. The solution has an inbuilt logic to automatically determine the Prisma access location based on the geographical coordinates of the Cisco Meraki SD-WAN site. The Prisma Access location has a warning sign which indicates that the current Prisma Access location chosen is different from the recommended compute location since there is insufficient aggregate bandwidth allocated in the region. You can choose to go via the recommended Prisma Access location by provisioning sufficient bandwidth. On enabling the sites, the IKE gateway, IPsec tunnel and RN get automatically configured on the Prisma Access. After the completion of the configurations, the status is updated on the dashboard. The Cisco Meraki SD-WAN sites now show up configured in the RN navigation. All the RNs are prefixed with Auto Meraki indicating they have been automatically configured in the UI and backend as a part of the solution. The UI shows the tunnel name, which is also auto-configured. The PSK secret generated by the IKE gateway with the seed entered in the integration settings can be seen here. Coming back to the third-party SD-WAN integrations dashboard, we can now see that the Cisco Meraki networks are enabled and configured. On the Meraki side, similar sets of configurations are done. 
As you can see on the Meraki dashboard, under Security SD WAN site, Site to Site Navigation, the non Meraki VPN peers are displayed along with the IKE version, pre shared secret, public IP of the Prisma Access SPN node, FQDNs, IKE identifiers for local and remote identifier. The network names are prefixed with auto to indicate it's configured as part of the solution. The tag under availability is also auto generated. This is used to associate the configuration with the network. Auto VPN integration will work with Auto VPN feature of Cisco Meraki as Meraki takes care of route prioritization and Auto VPN routes are prioritized over non Meraki VPN peers. This ensures that specific networks are reachable using Auto VPN, and since we are adding a 0.0.0.0, .0 route for non Meraki VPN peers, it will ensure that all non specific route traffic will go via Prism Access. There is an option for the admin to change this default to a specific subnet based on specific data to be routed to Prism Access. Our automation will not override this value. All the logs can be viewed under Activity Log Viewer Common Audit Logs. The Log Viewer gives a wholesome view of the entire Cisco Meraki integration. All the handshakes between Prism Access and Cisco Meraki are captured in the logs. With this, the integration is complete. The customer needs to configure just the API key, PSK seed, and enable the sites. The rest of the configurations on the Prisma Axis and Cisco Meraki are done by the solution in the backend. As you've seen now, Cisco Meraki integration reduces the complexity involved in onboarding and managing the Cisco Meraki sites with Prisma Axis. Thank you.